Home to over a million inhabitants, Hiroshima City is the capital of Hiroshima Prefecture and is the principal city of the Chugoku region in Japan. Hiroshima is well known by the world as the first city targeted by the nuclear weapon of the United States during the World War II. On August 6, 1945, at exactly 8.15 a.m., the United States Army Air Force dropped the atomic bomb Little Boy on Hiroshima City, causing most of the city to be destroyed and around 100 to 200,000 people died or was affected greatly by the atomic bomb explosion. After the war, great efforts were taken to rebuild the city. And as of today, Hiroshima is one of the most popular tourist destinations here in Japan. It is a city full of life, full of history, and full of hope. One of the most prominent features in the city that you can see is the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a tangible link to Hiroshima's unique past. I was able to explore Hiroshima during the summer, and for three days, I was able to see the history, the richness of the culture, and the important lesson that the city wants to teach the young generation. In this video, I will be showing you the different things to do and the places to visit once you're in Hiroshima, as well as the different tips and tricks when you're in the city. Number 1. Hiroshima Tourist Pass Like other popular tourist destinations here in Japan, Hiroshima offers a tourist pass wherein you get 3 days of unlimited rides to different buses, trains, and trams within the city. For just 2,000 yen, you get to enjoy unlimited rides, and it also includes a ferry ride going to Miyajima Island. Number 2. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park One of the popular destinations here in Hiroshima City is the Peace Memorial Park, wherein you can see the history of Hiroshima being bombed by the atomic bomb during the World War II. When you go to the park, you'll also get to see the brightly colored paper cranes displayed here. The paper crane story is about Sadako Sasaki, a young girl who was exposed in the atomic bomb, and believed that if she folded 1,000 of them, she will get better. Number 3. Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum In this museum, you'll get to see more of the graphic contents about the World War II bombing in Hiroshima City. I think that it is one of the go-to places here in Hiroshima so that you'll get to know more about the history and actually see what happened and how bad it really was. You'll get to see different stories, testimonials, pictures, and some of the things left behind by the victims. All in all, you definitely need to visit this museum. Here is an example of the things that I was referring to. As you can see here, these are the clothes of the victims after being exposed or hit by the atomic bomb and the pictures of the victims themselves, their names and information. Looking at this face-to-face -face hits more differently. Number 4. Okonomimura Village Also known as Okonomiyaki Village, this street has tons of old traditional okonomiyaki restaurants here in Hiroshima. As you know, there are two kinds of okonomiyaki here in Japan mostly. There is the Osaka style and then the Hiroshima style. And Hiroshima style is more filling, I believe. So you can search for a specific restaurant that you think you'd like to try. And then it's kind of like this. You get to sit down while they cook the okonomiyaki right in front of you. So this is the Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. They make it like this. They actually pile up everything and then serve it with pork and noodles. So let me know what you guys 
find better if it's Osaka Okonomiyaki or Hiroshima Okonomiyaki if you tried both of them <laughs> I personally find Osaka Okonomiyaki better because it's not that overwhelming but the Hiroshima one is also pretty good so definitely try both of them Number 5 Miyajima Island Miyajima is a small island less than an hour outside the city of Hiroshima. It is most famous for its giant Tori Gate, which at high tide seems to float on the water. The site is ranked as one of Japan's three best views. Although coming here, it was still in renovation, so we weren't able to actually see it without the scaffolding and all. But it was still an interesting place to go to, and I believe that the scaffolding or the renovations will be done very soon. So, if you're gonna come to Japan like this year or next year, best to like include this in your itinerary because Hiroshima Miyajima Island is amazing. You can try the Momiji Manju right here. The fried one is very good, and the coffee, they also have the coffee. And there are a lot of interesting street foods in the island. For example, this one. It's a wrapped potato something and uh, you can actually get the Momiji Manju in a vendo machine. They also have different stalls like a festival during culture festival and the view here is just super amazing guys. So definitely you have to go to Miyajima Island when you're in Hiroshima city. Number 6. Hiroshima Castle Since you're already in Hiroshima, Take this chance to see the Hiroshima Castle, one of the many castles here in Japan. Of course, it's pretty popular because, well, it's in Hiroshima. And it's not that big like in Himeji, but it's still a good place to visit too. During the summer though, it gets really hot so the climb is more challenging. But all in all, it's also a beautiful place to visit and I definitely recommend you going here. Basically, that's it guys. Those are my top recommendations and tips and tricks when you go here to Hiroshima City. And as Japan opens its borders this year, I hope that you consider Hiroshima as one of your itineraries when you visit Japan. Because it's such a lovely city full of color and rich in history. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.